As guitar technology moves forward, it's very interesting to see what new things make it into the marketplace. One of the things that I've seen in the past few years is the emergence of battery-powered practice amps. While I'm not the target audience for something like this, I can appreciate the sentiment. When I was first learning how to play guitar, I had a Rockman and that thing blew my mind, but you had to wear headphones. And while I don't think I was ever in the position where I just couldn't find an outlet to plug into, I can't appreciate the convenience that having a battery brings. So that leads me to today's sponsor, Joyo. Now for full transparency, Joyo did ask me if they could sponsor a video of this amp, so I will be demoing it and trying to keep my own opinions out of the video as much as humanly possible, so that way you can come to your own conclusions, the way the FTC intended. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Taylor. Today we are looking at a Joyo DC-15 portable guitar amplifier. You know what, we probably need like a volume thing here too, so you know how loud this is. I will say with the meter, it is a little bit deceptive sometimes because you're looking at this number. It's like, that doesn't mean a lot, but I'm just trying to give you something other than just me sitting here trying to describe how loud it is to you. I would say it's pretty decently loud for something like this. I've tried a lot of these small portable amplifiers and they can vary quite a bit with their like total output volume, but this one's pretty decent. You know, if I'm like talking to you and playing, it'll go like, it will drown out my voice. Here I am trying to explain to you, even though I got off the meter so I wouldn't have to do that. Let's just move on here. This is the Joyo DC-15S. It is a portable Bluetooth amplifier. Bluetooth, because you can connect to it with like your phone or something like that and play back music. It does have two speakers inside of it. It's a two-way mono speaker. It's not a stereo speaker. So you have a smaller tweeter in here and then you have a larger uh, subwoofer. We have a few different amp models. So let me just read you the specs. The Joyo DC-15S is a digital modeling combo amplifier. It features nine different amplifier models. Eight of those are classic electric guitar preamps, and one of them is an acoustic instrument preamp. It has six built-in effects, four being modulation effects, including coarse flanger, phase, and tremolo, two of them being space simulation type effects. The other two are reverb and delay. It has a built-in drum machine. It has a looper that is foot switchable, and it does come with a foot switch. There are 36 patterns with the built-in drum machine, and the looper the can be stacked infinitely. The maximum recording time is 30 seconds. It also has two user presets that can be switched with the foot control. And like I mentioned earlier, this is an extremely portable amplifier, not only because of its size, but because it has a built-in lithium battery that can last eight to 12 hours. And with that built-in battery comes something that's really useful for me personally, because I always forget to turn these things off. It has a power saving mode. It will automatically shut down within five minutes without any signal input, either from the Bluetooth or directly from a guitar. Once it goes into this power saving or standby mode, you just turn the switch off for five seconds and then turn it back on and it will be ready to rip again. You can connect to the Joyo DC-15S with your phone. Also, if you want to use it as a Bluetooth speaker, either for practice or just for listening to music, it also has an eighth inch line in input and a headphone output. On the back of the unit, we have an input for a foot switch. We also have a quarter inch line output as well. And then we also have eighth inch recording outputs on the back for both iPhone and Android. And I'm not really sure how these work and I can't test them out because I have not had a phone that takes a TRRS cable in like eight years. But if you do have an Android or iPhone with a TRRS input, there you go. They made these outputs just for you. And the DC-15S retails for $169.99, but at the time of making this video, it is on sale through Amazon for 16% off, making it $143.10. A very odd number, but that's what it says. Okay, so that's the Joyo DC-15S. Let's go through this thing and I'll show you some of the features. While I was reading specs, it actually went into sleep mode, so I just have to turn this off, wait for a few seconds, and then turn it back on and it should power back up. Now these knobs are momentary as well, so what I've noticed is sometimes you'll have it set a certain way, and then if you turn it off and turn it back on, especially in this case where it goes into sleep mode, uh, it doesn't save those settings, so you actually need to like twist the knob and then twist it back into position to get it set where you want it. So this is the acoustic simulation. Let's turn some effects on, yeah? Now we can only activate either delay or reverb. It would be nice if we could do both, but uh, that's not the way that this knob works here. There's the delay. It's just like a very simple digital delay. And then we have the reverb here. Very nice spacey kind of reverb. Now I am 
recording both from this Voodoo Ribbon One microphone that is right in front of the speaker. I'm doing my best to try and capture the sound that's coming out of this thing. Full range speakers are notoriously difficult to mic up and record, so I'm doing what I can here. I'm also recording out of the line output. I will put it on the bottom of the screen, so that way you know what's going on. We have a JC clean, and then a clean. They don't sound dramatically different to me. Let's just go with the clean sound. It's very similar to the acoustic, just like less spanky top end. Let's turn the gain up all the way and see if we can get some breakup in it. Turn the effects off. Uh, let's go, actually we have a course here. Not a huge fan of course myself, but it's cool that it's there. Next, we have a flanger. Finally, a tremolo. Can add some reverb into that. There's the effects. Let's turn the effects off. Next, we have overdrive and blues. These are pretty similar. That's a blues. This is the overdrive. Let's go back to the blues. The blues actually has a little bit more gain. not bad. Crunch. We're getting progressively more and more heavy. Let's uh, go to the next one here, which is the lead. about maxed out on gain and volume there too. It sounds like there's a noise gate. There is, there's a noise gate, but there's no control for noise gate here. That's very interesting. Okay, let's move on here. This is rhythm. Lastly, metal. Now, if you're a metalhead like me, this is probably the channel that you're gonna stick on most of the time. This is like a scooped mid sound. It's very, very metal. And I didn't mention this earlier, but you actually control the EQ. There's only a tone knob. So you can't really sculpt the EQ. It's kind of baked into the preamp sound, but this is kind of what the tone knob does to give you an idea. It almost just adjusts the brightness of the preamp sound. And 
again, that's with the gain all the way up. Volume is maxed out as well. This is where we're at. <laughs> The other thing that we have here is we have a drum machine. Let's use it. Okay, that's kind of fun. Now we don't have a digital readout on the display at all, so you are just spinning this wheel kind of like analog style. It always resets to one and it does give you numbers to tell you like which beats are what in the manual, but uh, you have to spin this and count or just spin it and listen for the drum beat you want since there's no digital display to know like what number drum preset you're at. And lastly here, I do have the foot switch plugged in so I can show you the looper, although I am not the best person to demonstrate loopers, but uh, I can prove it exists, you know? So let's just do that. You get the point. It exists. There's a looper in there. You can create an infinite wall of sound because it will overdub infinitely, like it said. I wonder if that's actually true, though. Maybe you can just keep looping over and over and over again, but it does say infinitely in the product description. And lastly, this is battery power. I just unplugged it, and so it is running off battery power at the moment. <laughs> So there you go, it is running off battery power right now. It does say that it lasts eight to 12 hours. The build quality is pretty solid. The front is this metal grill. The rest looks like it's Tolexed wood. This does not appear to be plastic. And then you have these cool handles on the top for... Jesus Christ. Don't hit the looper button. It's right there next to the handle. <laughs> and then you do have these handles on the top as well if you wanna carry this thing around, like if you're gonna take it to a kegger or something, I don't know, whatever you kids do these days, uh, you can take it around with you and jam out. So that's pretty neat. All right, thank you so much to Joyo for sponsoring this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. If you like what I do here on this channel, consider subscribing or better yet, join us over on Patreon. There's all sorts of information on that down in the description below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.